Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. More specifically, about the parents of Lucy and Ricky. Again, I'm going to be focusing on the father of Ricky, who is pretty much not named in the entire series. But we do have clues throughout the episodes about what may have happened to him. He never visually appears on the show, but he is referenced many times by Ricky and Lucy and in many different episodes throughout the seasons. I'm going to highlight a couple of those and give a conclusion that I believe is the final answer as to what happened to Ricky's father. Now let's begin with Lucy because I think it's really interesting to see that her mother is the one that we see most of in the entire series. Of course, Mrs. McGillicuddy. She is played by Catherine Card. Now, I did make a special video on Catherine Card. She has a little bit of a secret special character that she did play on I Love Lucy that many people don't know. So make sure to take a look at that video because I think you're going to be surprised, especially if you're a Catherine Card fan. Now, going back, of course, Lucy's mother calling Ricky Mickey is such a great joke. And in fact, I always enjoy seeing her on the screen playing Lucy's mother. Now, going along on the other side, in one episode, we also see Ricky's mother. This one is from season four. It's called Lucy's Mother-in-Law. Now, in this episode, we see her coming from Cuba to meet the entire gang. Of course, Lucy, little Ricky, and of course, to see her son to visit them. This is the first time, apparently, according to the story, that she does visit and meet Lucy. Now, jumping to season six, you see the entire clan go and visit Cuba, basically to meet Ricky's family. Lucy's very nervous because she hasn't met most of his family and it is huge according to her. When they're on the plane, she goes through the list of everyone and Ricky says, don't worry about everyone, you've already met my mom. Of course, a big reference to that season four episode. But what who you need to worry about is Uncle Alberto. Now, again, there's no reference to Ricky's father. There should have been something like that being, of course, from the Hispanic Latino culture. Ricky's father being a patriarchal society that would have been the one that Lucy had the kind of charm had the kind of impress and so he is out of the picture even though he's referred to back in season two in a certain episode I'm gonna get back to the Cuba episode but in the season two episode never do business with friends this is a great one where we see the Ricardos and Mertes fight over that washing machine that washing machine that goes crazy and causes trouble for the gang makes them essentially fight and argue. It is a great one if you haven't checked it out. But Ricky does mention here, he says, my father once told me, and then he says, uh, quote in Spanish, which I'm not gonna go through, maybe one day I'll translate for you, but it basically has to say that you shouldn't do business with friends as the title of this episode says. So there is a reference to Ricky's father. Now moving on to season five, when the gang goes to Europe. This is a really important one where Lucy goes to the Monte Carlo Casino. Lucy and Ethel mention that they do want to go to the casino to do a little bit of fun gambling and Ricky warns him. He says, you better not go to the casino. My father once told me. So he starts again with that same quote and he basically says, ill-gotten gold is no one's gain. So money like that can be dangerous basically. And again, he's referencing his father. So so going back to that Cuba episode, when the entire gang is waiting for the family to come in, you see Lucy is very nervous and she's very afraid of what's gonna happen. Uncle Alberto comes in and again, he's the one that they have to impress. So think about this for a little bit. This is Ricky's uncle according to the story. And so that would mean that he is most likely not the brother of Ricky's mother, which we met earlier and we later see in this episode. This is most likely, and I would say 99.9%, .9 the brother of Ricky's father. Now what's really interesting as well, if you keep going down this frame of logic, you see that Uncle Alberto brings a little drum, a little conga drum, to little Ricky. The episode mentions that this is Big Ricky's drum when he was a little boy. So he's handing it over. Uncle Alberto has that power to hand over this drum to little Ricky. And he's really happy to see him and he mentions him. If you catch it in the episode, he looks just like a Ricardo. So that pretty much solidifies that he himself is a Ricardo. He is not the brother of Ricky's mom and therefore he's the brother to Ricky's dad. So he is taken over as the head of the family. 
What does that mean? That, of course, Ricky's father is not present. Now, they name him many, many times. That is Ricky's father. Therefore, saying that he was an important man, he was an important man to Ricky, but he's no longer in the picture. So that would kind of rule out divorce because if you think about it, there wouldn't be so much importance placed on him. And after all, this is a Latino family. This is very rare going back to the 50s of divorce. It's not something that would be common. So most likely, Ricky's father passed away in terms of the episode, but they never say those words, but that is most likely what it is. And in fact, Uncle Alberto was the one everyone's trying to impress. He's the new patriarch, and that's how it would be in a Latino family coming from one myself. So yes, Uncle Alberto is now the head of the family. This pretty much solidifies the idea that Ricky's father has passed on, but he's still remembered lovingly by Ricky and even respected by Lucy. So hopefully this little bit of detective work that I've done was interesting to you. Let me know what you think. What do you think about Uncle Alberto? In fact, this actor does appear in another episode of the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, but I may make another video on that. Love to know your thoughts down below. What are your theories on Ricky's father? Why wasn't he ever shown? Why didn't they ever mention his death or anything else? I would love to know. We'll see you all next time and don't forget guys and gals be hopeful thanks as always to all the patreon supporters especially the executive producers for this video andy b david d ricky and joe r thank you so much to everyone